What is going on guys? It is Trifecta J here with episode 4 of my Braves franchise and we're taking on the Toronto Blue Jays on the road as the Braves in today's game at 4 and 7 on a 7 game losing streak after starting the year 4 and 0. Oh, we have dropped our last 7, a lot of them being pretty bad losses, pretty much blowouts. As you can see the first two games, Chris Johnson had a nice game in the first game of the series and Mark Burley went 9 innings, no walks, only one strikeout, 9 innings in the second game. We have really struggled with hitting the ball. We ranked 26th in the majors. Only one person in our lineup today is hitting over 300 as the Braves will be taking on Aaron Sanchez as he has struggled in the early going of the season a 7.45 ERA. Cameron Maben leading off for the Braves today hitting 200 as a slow start for the former San Diego Padre. He starts it off with a deep drive to center field. However, Pompey is able to get back and get to that ball for the first out of the inning. Now, Nick Markek is up. He's hitting pretty well. 325 on the season. He hits that one deep to left field. And Pilar is back to get that one. And that will be ending the first inning. As the lineup for the Toronto Blue Jays is coming up. Edwin Encarnacion hitting 350 with four home runs early in the season. And Jose Reyes is getting an early day off. Alex Wood has struggled a little bit this game. One for one. He pitched seven innings in his first appearance. Go giving up three runs and striking out six. In his second start, he only went four innings, eight hits, five runs, and three walks. Even count one out for Devin Travis. He hits that one hard to center field. Maybe out there, and he's able to track it down for the second out of the inning. So now Jose Bautista is up, a 3-2 count. Two outs, pitches away, and he does not get a lot of that one. Pops it straight up to Freddie Freeman at first base. And he's out there and able to get it. And that will end the first inning. Now into the second inning. Freddie Freeman up. He is hot and he just got hotter. That's a deep fly to right field. And it's out of here. His fourth home run already on the season. And 10th RBI. Now a two out full count for Anderton Simmons. Top of the second. And that is out of the strike zone. A four seam fastball misses. And Simba gets to take his base. Now another full count. Eric Young Jr. goes down swinging on the heat up a little bit in the zone. That will end the inning. Get a second look at that. And we get a second look at the Freddie Freeman home run. He just crushes that ball. Like I said, his fourth home run. Not hitting great for average, but nice power early on in the season. 0-2 count for Encarnacion. Alex Woods pitches away and it is up in the zone. He left it hanging a lit, but Encarnacion not able to get a handle on it. And now Navarro is up a 1-2 count, two outs. It's hit hard to Simmons. He fields it and throws it, an easy play, and he gets it off the hop. Freeman does a little questionable throw right there from Simba. Now Betancourt is up a 2-2 count, and he goes back down. Got to get to first base, throw gets there before Betancourt does for the first out on the inning. Now a 3-1 count for Cameron Maben back to the top of the order. As he hits that one hard to right center field, it gets down at the wall. Maben rounds first base into second. The throw is off, but Maben will stay at second. Probably had a chance to get the third, but will stay safe. And now Jace Peterson up. That was a horrible swing out of the zone way too early. Looking for a fastball. So now a 3-2 count with Maben at second base. And once again, the Braves are looking for a fastball. Get the changeup and way ahead of it. That ends the top of the third inning. Now going to the bottom of the third as Kevin Pillar is up and 0-2 count 27 pitches. And that is one more and another strikeout for Alex Wood. Now a 3-2 count full count for Steve Tallis in the former South Carolina Gamecock is up. And he hits that one to left field. Young not able to track it down. It gets to the wall. Maven fires it back in and Tallison gets to second. Simba does not go ahead and throw it in. As now Travis is on deck with Pompey up. He gives that one a ride to center field. Maven out there once more getting some early work in center field. And that will end the inning unscathed. It is Alex Wood. Now a full count for AJ Przinski. He's half to a little bit of a slow start. Only hitting 207 but has four RBIs. As that one gets down into right field. A one out single. So now the next Braves batter is Kelly Johnson, a 1-2 count. Looking for it low in the zone. He had the right place, but was way too late. Maybe looking for a changeup. Now going from too early to too late. 
Simba hits that one pretty hard to the shortstop. Tolleson is there. Throw to second base for Travis, and that ends the inning. A full count once more for Jose Bautista. One out, and that is a walk as that pitch was wild and away in the zone. Betancourt has to track it down, but it doesn't matter. Bautista takes his base. And Carnacion, though, hits it right to Simmons to Peterson, and on the bounce to Freeman, a 6-4-3 double play to end the inning. Now a 1-2 count in the top of the 5. Maybin once more. Already has one hit. This time it will go down swinging. Throw to first is in time. Maven slides for some reason. Now we go to the bottom of the 5th. So a 3-2 count for Navarro. Pitch is away, and it is hit hard once more to Simmons. This time a routine play, and he bounces it. Freeman not able to scoop it right to Betancourt. After a couple of bad throws, it finally comes back to bite us as Freeman not able to get to that one. Valencia, though, flies that one very high to Marquecas in right field. Runner will stay at first, throw in two outs for Pilar with a man on first. Pitches away. It's hit hard to Simmons. This time, let's see if he can make the throw. He bounces it again, but Freeman's able to scoop that one up, and that will end the inning. Jace Peterson, Nick Marcakis, and Freddie Freeman coming up. Moving ahead to the bottom of the six, as Devin Travis is up. He hits that one hard. Johnson not able to get to the ball. It goes to Eric Young Jr. in left field. Throw is in. Now two outs. Jose Bautista up. Pitches away, and he misses it. Change up gets him going, and that will end the inning. Simmons in a hitter count. 3-1, 94 pitches on the day for Sanchez. Pitches away, and it misses to the left of the strike zone. Simmons' second walk on the day. Now Eric Young Jr., who struggled early on the season, really hitting the ball, and he misses that one. His second strikeout of the day. Simmons getting walks. Young getting struck and out. So now middle of the seventh, now bottom of the seventh, Encarnacion up. A 3-2 count, pitches away. He misses the four-seam fastball low in the zone, as that is another strikeout for Alex Wood. 3-2 count for Donaldson. 85 pitches. This might be the last inning for Wood. He misses it, and Donaldson will take his base, looking more and more likely for it to be his final inning. 90 pitches on the day. Pitch is away, and he gets Navarro swinging the second out of the inning. The left-handed specialist is up an even count at 1-2 outs. He hits that one hard to Kelly Johnson. He turns, fires to first, and Valencia's out. A big play right there to end the inning for Alex Wood. He escapes unscathed once again. Todd Redman now on to pitch. He's pitched twice this year and really struggled in both of them, allowing a good bit of runs through three innings. Redman has struggled with his control so far this year, and Betancourt hits that one hard. That's right to Tolleson. He makes the throw, and what a play. He is looking like the real Anderton Simmons in this game. Now Maven up. He hits that one right up the middle to center field on the ground. Another hit for Cameron Maven, his second on the day. Hopefully Maven can turn this season around. He's really struggled, only hitting 200. And Peterson, another guy who's struggled, 162 so far this year, not including this game, goes down looking. But with a man at first, with a little bit of speed, Marcakis is up. He hits that one very high left field. As Pilar is out there, the ball drops right into his glove. That will end the inning as it is still a 1-0 game. Not a lot of offense, only five total hits. Two errors combined for both teams, however. Now a 3-1 count, bottom of the eighth. Pitches away, it goes right up the middle as that might be Alex Wood's last pitch. As now Jose Reyes is up to hit. Pinch hitter got a day off, but will come in to hit. Probably take over at shortstop for Steven Tolleson. Jason Grilly on to pitch now a 1-1 count. I guess going for a two-inning save. I'll be completely honest, I accidentally put him in, but he will be looking for that two-inning save. As we have an update from the Mississippi Braves, Jason Hirsch so far this year has made two starts. He's 2-0, 1.26 ERA, 10 strikeouts, and has not walked anyone. Bautista up, though, and that goes right to Freeman, and that will be the final out of the inning. A huge play from Freeman and Grilly to get us out of that inning. Now Freeman up once more, a 1-2 count. And he hits that one hard right to Jose Reyes, who did come in for shortstop. He throws it, and that is just a horrible throw. It bounces right past the first baseman. Now a 3-2 count for Brzezinski. He scoops that one right into right field. The right fielder misplays it a little bit and fires it in finally as men at the corners. Kelly Johnson is up, a 2-1 count, no out. He hits that one. Freddie Freeman will come in as Kelly Johnson has an RBI single. 
Also, another update from the Miners as Brett Cecil enters the game. Matt Whistler, 1-0, 15 innings. He has not allowed a run yet, 18 strikeouts, 3 walks. The reason he only has one win, though, is because of a blown save by the closer in Gwinnett. Andrelton Simmons, though, goes down swinging as that will be the first out on the inning. Now, men at first and second for Young Jr. He goes down, broke his wrist, and the changeup gets him going. So now Christian Benton caught up with a 3-2 count. Two outs, and that is popped right to Reyes. That will end the inning. Nice to see our prospects, though, in triple and double-A pitching very well early on the year. Now, bottom of the ninth, Jose Bautista up. He goes down swing. Got to get the throw to first. Betancourt's throw is perfect for the first out. Now, a pitcher's count, one, two, one out. And Encarnacion misses the fastball right on the edge of the strike zone. Really, second strikeout of the day. So now one pitch away from him for save, and he gets it. Donaldson goes down swinging as Grilly strikes out the side in the ninth. A huge, huge, huge job by him to get us out. As we got a big insurance run in the top of the eighth inning, which was very nice to see. Our offense really has struggled. Same with our pitching, but they both played very well today. Alex Wood goes seven innings, three hits, does not allow a run, does walk two, and strikes out six. So overall, Alex Wood would be your player of the game. A great day overall. Freddie Freeman, one for four, has an RBI on his home run, scores a run. Cameron Maybin, two hits on the day, so that was nice to see. I hope you did enjoy, because I'm out.